guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Denny back with another segment on my wacky builds. Now, you see in front of me here on my little workbench, I have a bruiser frame. I got a couple of transmissions over there, and I got some U bolts for a rear end. And uh, I want to go over a couple of things with you. Uh, first off, this is the bruiser transmission and motor. Okay? You've all seen these things and, you know, very familiar with them. Alright? And, you know, they're pretty cool. You know, they're not indestructible, but they're really, um, they're really a piece of ingenuity back in the day. Now, you see what this is. Okay? You're probably wondering, what the hell is that? Alright? And I'll tell you what it is. Okay, it's a 775 brushed motor instead of the 750 on the bruiser. And it's a two speed transmission with a high and low range in it that you can easily hook up to a servo. Okay, and I'll demonstrate it in a second. And you can see I had to hand make some bolts and stuff back here, and, and I altered this a little bit, and I'll get to that too. But I'll tell you what this is out of right here. This here was a $5 transmission, okay? Now you guys know, if you want to get one of these, you're going to pay an arm and a leg for it. These are upwards around, you know, one, two hundred dollars. I've seen them vary. I've, I've actually seen them as high as a thousand dollars that were still brand new in the package, you know, for the bruisers. But um, a cheap alternative is, I went to a yard sale, and there was a battery-operated Craftsman drill, 19.2 volt. You see, I tore it all apart, and that's what's inside it. Throw that in the trash. Now, it's exactly the same size. If you look at things, it's exactly a little shorter, actually, which gives me room on the back here to make a transfer case you see or I can just cut my shaft down I left it long for a reason I can trim it down to what I want now I tore the, the chuck off the thing I actually cut it off because there I, I wasn't familiar with how it came apart and I didn't care about that I just needed a little bit of shaft here now this here is a bearing shaft coming into a planetary gear drive that has a high and a low range, okay? Your slipper clutch, there's a bunch of, when you tear it apart, all this pins and bearings and bushings are gonna all fall out of it. Just throw them away, get rid of them. And I went and I got some quarter 20 um, button head Phillips screws and I ground the heads down. Or you can use like Allen heads if you, if you want, quarter 20 Allen heads. And I threaded the case here and I just screwed them in so it'll hold the slip clutch in place so it doesn't slip because um, basically there was springs bearings and small little um, steel sleeves in here that would let this housing in here bounce back and forth as a clutch on your um, on your drill you had to you know the, your setting from zero to 10, which is 10 is a drill, you know, and um, if you still wanted to use that feature, you could, you just make these shoes, these screws shorter, use the springs and the ball bearings in there so it'll still slip it, but the problem is, there's six of these, and you're going to have to adjust them all accordingly, all within the same torque spec so the clutch will slip, and uh, if anybody is familiar with the Bruiser, it has the same setup up front here, it has a slipper clutch on it, and it makes a god awful racket sound when it's slipping and you know when you're in some serious torque when you push this transmission beyond what it's made to do the slipper clutch kind of like takes over and you don't get to do nothing so i'm going through a bunch of different projects today and uh i want to make a quick video on this here and i bought this at a yard sale too for 50 cents you know, still good. I actually soldered a Tamiya plug on it, 
and I use it for stuff like this here to test things. You know, it's 9.6 volt, it works well. So I'm going to plug in the transmission here and get it running for you. Alright, and here we go. Got a lot of torque in this little motor. Now, right now we're in low range. Okay, and you want to put it in high range, you just click it. You see? Now you can gear your transfer case up or down accordingly. This here is pretty much like a second gear in the bruiser right now. And this here is like slow, a little slower than first gear in the bruiser. So, like I say, you hook up a servo to this, click it back and forth, you got high and low range like a transfer case, and you'll still have your forward and reverse in your motor from your speed control. That works out well. And this here is pretty indestructible also. If it's good enough to beat around in a drill, you know, and it's very smooth action. It doesn't, you see, click, click, no binding, no nothing. You won't even have to have a heavy duty servo because it'll stay in gear by the, just by the way it's built. So you could have like a, a micro servo on here just to save weight and shift it from high to low range if you wanted to. And uh, so, that, like I say, this is this is what I do. I, I, I sit and I mess with stuff like this and I think. So for five dollars I got me a new project transmission and like I say, add some things to it like some gears back here. I ground this down to a five millimeter shaft okay because it had a hole in it. This is a left hand thread in here all right and I had to tap it to a right hand so I could put a quarter twenty um, in there and then grind it down so it was a five millimeter shaft coming out the back and then I ground this down up here all I did was I hooked the battery up to the, the thing and I set it on high range and I brought it up to a bench grinder and just sat there and let it grind down and grind down until it came the size that I wanted I just kept measuring the shaft it was very quick and easy and uh, so now if I want to, you know, use like a, some heavy duty gears that have a bigger 8 millimeter hole in the center, I can use that. Or I can still use the 5 millimeter back here and make my own transfer case. And Or I could just put a drive shaft on that right there and screw it down, I'll be happy. Like one of these, for instance, I could actually have a two wheel drive version of that. But I want to make it a full wheel drive. Now, I went to um, this place today, Tractor Supply. I had to like I had to buy one of these just because I've seen these things online and they're crazy money for the aluminum ones. Okay, I had to buy this. They're at the counter when you check out. It's a business card holder or a gift card holder, basically is what it is. And uh, you know, give a gift, basically at Christmas time. It was three bucks. You know what I mean? Three dollars, and it's not aluminum. It's actually cheap tinsy steel but it'll be good for you know, hide a servo um, you know if you want to hide your you know your off-road stuff in there as far as your you know your snatch blocks and all that stuff you can hide it in there it's not as wide as you know to fit in the bed but it will you know you can mount two on the side if you got like a tractor trailer uh, build going on or something you know and you want to make a business off-road you know, six wheeled thing, whatever you want to do, you know, these boxes are cheap and they hold whatever you want to put in radio equipment. Um, you know, even it'll actually hold uh, the four AA batteries, you know, if you, if you still use them for any lighting or anything like that. And it actually fits right in the back of the bruiser. It'd be like a, you know, kind of unearned thing there. But anyways, while I was there, I was working on a rear end project too and I got me some U-bolts. So I can make some scale um, front and rear rear ends because I was trying to buy a set you know on eBay and you know it seems like every time I bid on something at the last second there's this other guy with a screen name it starts with O and ends with O and he he buys every rear end and 
everything you can possibly think of, no matter what the cost, he must have an unlimited budget. And uh, so this, these here were probably more of a fifth scale, because that's what I was trying to work on, was build a fifth scale. But, um, so I got to start for that, and I bought some tubing, and I'll actually sit down and use the Sen GST uh, center section with the differential, and, and even the Sen axles, and I will custom make my own front and rear differentials. So I got eight U-bolts, heavy-duty bizass. I got some very, very old steel strap banding that they used to strap crates with, and uh, it's probably a good maybe half, three-quarter inches wide, probably, yeah, probably five, yeah, about half inch wide, so nice and heavy so I can actually make my own leaf springs, and it'll be heavy-duty. It'll be too big for this frame, but the frame that I want to build, the fifth scale, I want to actually build a full drive. Um, fifth scale truck that's pretty much as realistic as the bruiser here because I've done if you've seen my fifth scales I've done before I've done the 62 bubble top Impala um, and I've done uh, 32 you know Ford coupe there that I, I had built in some of my other videos so if you want to check that stuff out check the builds out I built pretty much everything from scratch when I walk into a place or something like that I'll you know if I see stuff on the I'm hanging like this, um, stuff like this. You know, I, I buy it, I use it. It's cheap money. You know, these are a dollar forty-nine each. You know, so for figure, you know, under fifteen bucks, I got you know my U-bolts, and it beats buying them online because they're one you don't know what size they are, you don't know if they're going to fit, and they only make them for certain things, and they cash in on them. So that was my segment for today, guys. Like, share, subscribe. You know, like I say, this transmission. I mean, everybody, if you go to a flea market, a yard sale, you know, anything like that, sometimes you can go to like a place called like, you know, Harbor Freight Tools or something like that, and they got them cheap battery operated cordless drills for like 20 bucks. You know what I mean? Like, the imagination is endless when it comes to that. To me, it would be worth $20 to buy that new drill and tear it apart and and look at it and see if I could use it. If I can't, I'll put it back together and I'll use it as a drill. And when it shits to bed, then it'll become a project like this. So, like I said, the Craftsman thing, you know, I could have got a battery for it, but, you know, the batteries, they don't last long anyway, and, you know, it's like, and I got enough cordless drills, so it doesn't matter. So anyway, like, share, subscribe, guys. Um, I'll be back with another segment. If you got any questions about any of this stuff, or especially this transmission here, or something like that, you know, feel free to hit me up, send me a message, um, share it with your friends. If you know somebody who's doing who likes to scratch build that's cool and um, you know if I can help you guys out any which way like I say I don't hold the information hostage I put it out there for you to build too because this, this is called a hobby and we're all in it as a hobby to do our thing and you know like to for me to build this and you know hold this the secrets of how I build it and let you guys wonder why it's a it's it's not cool in the hobby, and that's not a good fellow hobbyist. And um, so, I might have questions. I can hit you guys up too. And like I say, you guys have been subscribing to my page quite a bit, and I appreciate that a lot because uh, it keeps me motivated to keep on building. Because there's other people out there that want to see what I build, and I can build it, put it on a shelf here, and run it there, and and. Uh, and keep myself happy but it it just kind of makes me feel good inside that you guys out there in the community want to um, you know want to check it out too and if I can contribute somehow you know with some knowledge or uh, an idea for instance for your build that's cool so anyways I'm gonna head out guys so have a good one I'm uh throw a steak on the grill today I think drink some beers and sit back and chill out so adios